as if yesterday's video wasn't potentially controversial enough, this one is definitely gonna be controversial. Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another Weird Wednesday video. Today I am gonna share my unpopular horror opinions. <gasps> what? Quick disclaimer, just like last video, these are my opinions. You can see yesterday's video for a definition if you need it. Most importantly though, I am not sharing these opinions to antagonize anybody. Honestly, I just thought it would be a fun video. Most of you guys know I like K-pop and I've seen this a lot in the K-pop community on YouTube. Like, I mean, there's tons of videos like my unpopular K-pop opinions. So I just thought I would do that for horror. That is all. All right, let's get into this though. So my first unpopular opinion. It's okay if you don't love or even like the big horror franchises. I'm easing into this steaming cup of <laughs> tea with an easy one. Super self-explanatory. If you don't like the Friday the 13th movies or Halloween, or Nightmare on Elm Street, or Scream, or Hellraiser, or Child's Play, etc. It's okay. Especially, you know, if you're my age and you didn't really grow up with any of these movies necessarily. I feel like there's a bit of a stigma around younger slash newer horror fans whose first experiences with horror, I'm just judging based off of my experience, are potentially those tons of remakes that we got like in the early 2000s, early to mid 2000s. Like, I feel like I've gotten shit for that before, like actual shit, you know, from hate comments, not just like joking around or whatever. So it's okay if you don't like them. So kind of jumping off from that last one, my second unpopular horror opinion is classic horror isn't necessarily any better or any worse than modern horror. <laughs> this one is kind of, going along with the first one just more controversial. I think there's a tendency to rely solely on nostalgia to determine whether a movie is better than another movie. By this I mean particularly comparing classic movies to modern horror movies. And there's nothing wrong with liking something because of nostalgia and at the end of the day it's somebody's opinion as to whether they like a movie better than another one but you do get the occasional person in the community that goes around touting this as fact, which I would argue there's no correct way to make a movie, so there's no way you can sit there and say that this is better than another one. It's all up to people's personal preferences. And that goes both ways as well. Like that doesn't act, and like just because there are more technological advances and better equipment nowadays doesn't necessarily mean that modern horror movies are better than older horror movies either. It goes both ways. Unpopular horror opinion number three. I am not that into Danielle Harris. She's one of those names that always gets mentioned when people talk about their uh, favorite scream queens and I am not saying that she's not a scream queen. That's not where I was going with that. I'm not saying she's not one. I just don't ever like think about her when somebody asks like what's your favorite scream queen. Although I fully admit I definitely most probably used her name for clout in my early YouTube years because I thought that I had to like or mention certain things for people to think I was like a real horror fan. But I'm older, wiser now. Um, second one's debatable, but. Fourth, unpopular horror opinion. I think we need to chill on the Stephen King adaptation slash remakes. Whew, there's a good one. And I'm probably gonna get crap for it because they're gonna be like, Little you liked the It movie, meh, 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 meh. Yes, fine. Just hear me out though. I sometimes feel like maybe my book reviews don't get as many views or as many people getting excited about them. I'm just speculating because I have no evidence. I think maybe that might be because I don't talk about Stephen King books. Um, it's not like a conscious choice that I'm like, I'm never gonna talk about Stephen King books on my channel or anything like that. It's just cause in comparison to the huge amount of books that he has written, trust me, I know. I, <laughs> I shelve his books every single week at work. I've read a minuscule amount of his books in comparison to the number of books that he has. It, I can't remember what the video was or what I was talking about, but somebody had wrote something to the effect of what other horror authors are there besides Stephen King and Dean Koontz. And I'll give it to them. There aren't 
like any other horror authors out there that are as prolific as Stephen King or Dean Koontz. But there are some great authors out there making awesome horror novels that would make amazing movies or television shows or whatever. Like they just don't have as many books as Stephen King does. We don't have anybody quite on the level of Stephen King out there. So to be fair, Dean Koontz does not call himself a horror author, so. And yet we just keep getting more and more King adaptations, even to the point where like we're remaking adaptations now, like Pet Cemetery is getting another adaptation. Great, no doubt about that. And obviously it's a solid draw for fans, like people recognize Stephen King's works and they're gonna go see his movies as they should. I just want more diversity, like, you know? Like, and it just feels like lately we've just been bombarded with Stephen King. That's all I'm saying. I'll end it out with this last one. Um, just end The Walking Dead already. I don't know if this is even an unpopular opinion or not because frankly I stopped watching, spoiler alert, after Glenn died. So in that sense maybe I have no room to talk about it. I probably don't but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. <laughs> but like just end it. Just be done with it. Um, at least from people I know like in real life that watch the series, like still watch the series. I feel like all I hear about now is them complaining about the show and how it's gone downhill compared to, you know, the earlier seasons. Just end it. I feel like American TV in general, no matter what genre, has this tendency to just run a popular show into the ground before they end it. So just end it. I don't know why we have such a problem with like ending popular things. Like, <laughs> It's like, we're not even trying anymore to be obvious about the fact that, you know, this is being done just for money. Like, why are they still running The Walking Dead? Because money, views. Just, just end it. Just end it. It's fine. It's okay. It can be done. So there you have it. I thought I would <laughs> keep it short just to five unpopular opinions. Um, hopefully I didn't piss anybody off <laughs> with this. Um, I was thinking though, maybe if you guys want to share maybe a couple, one, two, however many of your unpopular horror opinions in the comments. Maybe I can make a follow-up video where I react to your guys' unpopular horror opinions. That might be fun. If you, if you wanna see it, leave your unpopular uh, horror opinions in the comments and I will make a video soon reacting to them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday, and you can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video, even though it doesn't always work. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye! This video is brought to you by all of these awesome Patreon supporters who are listed here on the screen. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, if you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link that's in the description box. And if you want to check out more videos, you can click the video that's on the screen right now.